Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Janira. Welcome. We're going to start in a minute, okay? Okay. Hello class, good evening, how are you doing? Hello, well, thank you so much for connecting guys. It's Tuesday and we are ready to start our session number 15. So we're just one um, class away from this course to finish, right? So welcome to your, to your class, it's, it's nice to see you guys. For today, we have a homework assignment, right? I would like to know if you did it. What was the class about yesterday? What did we talk about? Who remembers? We talked about the ways in how to how to express future intentions, plans. Um, it can be about fixed situations or, or arrangements, schedules, programs, you know, timetables, right? So we talked about those those ways in how to talk about future tense in different ways, not only to be going to and, uh, and or will, right? So we basically had different choices. I ask you to create one um, paragraph, like a short like uh, text talking about your vacation. And, and I said, you can make up the information. That's why I have named it here, dream vacation destination. So, um, so I'm going to give, I remember that I said that you can create maybe even a presentation or PowerPoint if you would like to do it, or you can write it down on your notes and then you can share with us. So I can see we are uh, 13 plus me connected. So I'm going to leave some time because I want to, I want to know, you know, um, who did the homework, okay? Mm hmm so who did the homework? Who want to participate by reading so we can listen to what you wrote? And the purpose, the purpose was that you guys create a a short a short, let's say, paragraph thinking or using WH word, right? I remember that I said WH such as where, when, why, who, et cetera, et cetera. So who wants to participate? Me, hey. sure. Okay, so I think uh, we have Roberto and Roberto. Who wants to? <laughs> All right, so let's let's listen to what you have written. 
please. Roro, you first or me? <clears throat> it's okay. You can start, Roberto. Usman. Okay. Okay. Intente. <clears throat> this year, during my vacation, I I want to rest as uh, much as I can. I also want to go out different place with my family. Um, for example, I will go to the beach, go buy something for my house and for me. Last year, I went to the, the viewpoint, Mirador, of San Vicente with an uncle who had come from USA. It was a good experience. I'm planning going to visit the Puerta del Diablo too. Overall, I hope have a good vacation in general. <clears throat> I like it. So overall, I hope I have, right? I hope I have, or I hope, you know, I have good vacation time, yes. That's good. You see, your ideas are really nice. I'm going to send one, the two words that I heard. So different places, right? Different places. Whenever you say different, and then it's like more than one place, you have the is ending. So you say different places. One place, two places. Different places. And then, yeah, viewpoints are what you mentioned, right? Like observations tech where you can visualize, you know? other uh, places due to the location you know it's easier to to view different points like that's why it's viewpoint all right so thank you so much Roberto that was good I like it and yeah we all want to rest on vacation right we want to take it easy relax because you know we have to <clears throat> like recover some energy all right good job let's see let's listen to listen to Roberto now Roberto Beltran thank you uh, good, good evening, teacher. Uh, can you yes. can you repeat me what you were telling us? Ah, I want you to what, share what with about? us. I want you to share with us what you wrote about your dream vacation destination. You need to include all the, the WH words and think about the, the future tenses, future structure we have studied in these previous classes. Mm, honestly, I didn't do the homework, but I can like do one improvisation here using the WH word with the future tenses. Okay, try to improvise. But then. you want me to do sentence or you want paragraph. me to say like one paragraph about, yeah. about what I, I'm going to do? Yeah, actually, it was not said. There, it was not only like write a sentence, but... Like you need to create a paragraph, right, with your description of your vacation. So it's more than just a sentence. But yeah, whatever okay. you can do is okay. Okay. Uh, honestly, I, I didn't think in that before, but you, for sure we are going to go on a trip on this vacation that is approaching, uh, like, currently. But I don't know where we are going to go. I don't know if you realize some improvisation might be we will go to our father's house that is located in Santa Ana, like near to we the punch the Tasumal, something like that. I think that is that is its name. I'm not sure. For sure we are yeah, we are going there like before December 25th. And then uh, I was born in, 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 San, in San Vicente because my dad belongs to that department. And for sure, of course, we have to go to the apartment, me and my family, me and my family. And 
I will I, I will I will go and then we are for example if let's imagine I am in we are in uh, let's imagine I am in like December 20, 25th. I am in my father's house in San Vicente and the time to like to do a want to do one to do a trip near our house over there there is a, a laguna or lake how how do you say laguna in english lagoon lagoon uh -huh. near our house there is a lagoon so uh, we are going to we are going to a lagoon Oh, help me, help me with that. Yeah, you're going to a uh, lagoon, yeah. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's how you say it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We go at 10 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. or we go after lunch. Uh -huh. Of course, I'm going to take note about that word because it's a new one for me, lagoon. Um, a double O lagoon. Yes, um, it's a simple trip that, but I can I, I I think I made I used some of the future tenses in, in all of the above. But the thing is, I don't know if I did it good, but I want you to help me to correct them if I did it wrong. Matter of fact, what you were saying is good because you were improvising and it and it made sense. You know, it makes a, a lot of sense. And um and you I know since you you what you were born in this place, you feel like as if you have to go, right? But you were using this structure of I have to do this and I have to do that. You know, you, I mean you can say that. That's totally totally okay because you are expected or you are looking forward to doing these activities. So at the end, you know, that's the that's the intention that you describe it. And um we also need to think about all the WH words, for example, like as like I said, where, when, how, who, and maybe that's a guideline for you to keep talking. Like maybe you start with uh, with where and then when and then you go with what and who and you might finish with why the purpose of the, of if there is any purpose right but then you know like as a matter of a summary or a conclusion you, you did a good job so that's expected you know besides that you just made it up which is better uh, in okay, my but, mm -hmm. yeah but. I realized I use like three, uh, almost three WH words, like what mm -hmm. or when. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So well, I think just both, just two, I used just right. two WH words. Right. I see. But, but still, you know, since you just made it up. And you know what? Uh, just let me give you one um, idea so you don't forget the, the lagoon. There's a shot. There's a there's a drink called Blue Lagoon, and I remember that I drank it when I went to a hotel, you know, and I was like, I didn't know about this this shot, and it was delicious. So it's Blue Lagoon, and that's the way I asked to the to the person at the moment of, to the to the waiter, you know. So it's called Blue Lagoon. It's it's a good one. Maybe somebody has has tried it before. So below chat or drank, drink in this case. It's a good one. You might want to see the picture so you don't forget the word like drone. And you know, other than that, that's that's it. So thank you so much. Now, uh, thank you for your participation, Roberto and Robert. So participation as of now. Anybody else? Hola. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. We have Alfredo and Sonia. Okay. Go ahead, sí, Alfredo. Mm, parece que dijo que quería como un, un plan para que, que, que hiciéramos, ¿verdad? No uh -huh. sé si a eso. Mm -hmm. Like a description. Sí. Description. 
Una. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Que dijo a dónde, con quién, y no sé qué. Yo hice una, pero no sé si, si está bien. Voy a decir, I'm going to visit my in at their house, and I will go with my wife. We will all go to Lake Guatepec together. Finish. Hey, you doing a good job. I was expecting for more. You know, that was good. Uh, like Guatepec Lake. Just leave Lake at the end. Guatepec Lake. But then what you just mentioned is nice. I, I felt as if you were going to say more. But then... What you mentioned is is nice because you follow the uh, you answer some of the some of the wh words right in the what is where you want to mention or expand more because what refers to activities right for example uh, I'm going to eat uh, seafood or, and I'm gonna have my favorite drink which is going to be this. And after that, we're gonna have blah, 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 but this is the what. But then, thank you for your participation. I appreciate it, no worries. Let's see, uh, Sonia. So what about you, Sonia? What do you have? Okay, teacher. I am going to be on vacation on December 28th when I plan to go to cinema to see a movie with my niece. We will go it and soda to enjoy in the afternoon. Also, we will celebrate celebrity my niece's birthday on December 24th. Finished. All right. Thank you so much. I think I sent three words. Niece, enjoy, and celebrate. Niece, enjoy and celebrate like and when you enjoy something like it's because you like it it's something uh you know you you enjoy doing like it's it's like for you it's a pleasure to to do it so something memorable something pleasant that's enjoy enjoyable all right so let's see thank you so much for your participation anybody else who else wants to partic participate Here. all right go ahead please thank you my vacation will start on December 22. I am planning to fund activities uh, with my family. First, uh, uh, we will uh, go to the beach and eat here food. I, I am not going to the mountain uh, because it's it to too far away, we rather uh, go to the park and do some diggings after all the activities. I will be very tired. So I plan resting. That's it. Right, thank you so much, Walter. You know, I like how you combine the structures. You were using uh, most of the structures that we have studied. So that was good. Thank you so much. We'll go into and you know, and all the possible ways to talk about the future. So that also that was good. And I think you wanted to say uh, when you go like biking, right? Biking. Am I right? Biking. Yeah. Okay, that's the word. Biking. Biking. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much for sharing. You know, I like because you also mentioned negative sentence, which is nice. You know, you say I'm not going to do this because and blah blah blah. So I like it because you were combining not only affirmative but also negatives. That was good. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else? I would like to listen to all of you. Actually, this is that this activity. The purpose is to to use future tense, right? Future tense, you know, it's possible ways, right? Not only will, but also the other three things that we have studied. So who else wants to participate? Who else? Let's see, Jocelyn. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I 
as a matter of fact, in my next vacation, I will uh, travel. I'm going to go Guatemala with my family. We are knowing new touristic place, and we will visit my family that lies there. By the way, we hope to go on December. So you're going on December this month too. Okay, nice. You know, thank you so much. Good pronunciation, Jocelyn. I like it. You know, it's, it's really good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Last participation, or maybe if we have more, I can definitely listen to you. So anybody else, guys? Sure. Aha, uh -huh. Janita. <laughs> Yo hice uno, pero no sé si está bien. Just go ahead, say it, that's the purpose, I want to listen. Esa es la idea, si les escucho para de esa manera poder darle retroalimentación, y algunos lo hacen muy bien, así significa que pueden incluso escribir mucho más, fíjense, de lo que han hecho algunos. Thank you so much. Ajá, adelante, this is okay. Okay, my, my vacation to future. Oh, I rode on motorcycle, and where to... Guatemala, when I will marry in future, and why um, I'm going to visit a new country is my dream. Um, who is quien, cierto? Who? Sí, con quien, con quien. Okay. You, you already who? said. Uh -huh. Okay, my girlfriend. Uh, extra activities walk by the city and go the downtown and eat ice cream and drink chocolate is all perfect. And sería todo. It's perfect. It's a perfect experience, right? Okay. Yes. I like it. You were mentioning like who, where, you know, when you are expressing your ideas, maybe you don't want to say who, where, and so on. You just want to give the answer, but because of the guidelines given that I didn't specify if you can say it or not, what or where, it's okay that you said it. But next time you just say, it. you just keep talking without mentioning because it was going to be um, explicit. Se va a sobreentender que ya dijo el who el what, for example. So no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else? Alguien más que quiera ayudarnos? Anybody else? Teacher. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, No sé si lo hice bien, pero voy a participar. All right, thank you. No, esa es la idea. Please, go ahead. Okay. On my holidays, I begin waiting for this vacation. I would like to travel to another country, but I won't. I, re I rely from the United States will come to our house. We will go for a walk on the beach. We will also go swimming in the Lake Guarepeque. We will have dinner in Santa Ana. I, I go to fishing. I will go for a walk in the morning. I will also visit to the church. Um, um, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Blessing New Year. Finish. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, Cuate Peque Lake, uh, Rafael. Good Cuate, ideas. Buenas, Cuate Peque Lake. Buenas, buenas ideas que trae, trae, mire, la verdad que están, era nice. Ahí le voy a mandar alguna que creo que sería lo correcto decir para, para decir caminar es walk 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 ajá piense que walk. Hay, piense que hay una W una O y una K nada más walk I walk in the morning walk walk, walk. exactly walk I walk es walk. los siempre que haya esto lo digo para todos siempre que haya una vocal y luego siga una L este la L este no se pronuncia y la vocal previa toma sonido de O en su mayoría Por ejemplo, talk, miren, talk, walk. Seguramente hay más, pero no me acuerdo ahorita. Oh, talk, walk. 
Uh, ese la, la A o la vocal previa toma sonido de O parecido. En el caso sería talk, walk. En el caso suyo era walk, walk, no W O K. El otro, I, I will. In the morning. Uh, in the morning. La otra es, yo diría, I will go fishing, como una actividad probable a hacer. O si ya, ya tiene el, el, el bait ahí para ir a pescar, el, el rope, si sí, creo que así se dice, la cuerda y todo eso, ya se va. Como que es it's, it's a plan, so I'm going to go fishing. Ok. Cuatepeque Lake. Uh -huh. Cuatepeque, Cuatepeque, creo que le puse dos veces, Tete. Cuatepeque uh -huh. Lake y luego la iglesia es Church. 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 I will also visit the church. A church, church. A como church. A church, church. Como una, un poquito suena como a ah, church, church, church. 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 Así. Church. Nice. nice. Okay. I will also visit the church. The church. Muy bien. Okay. Like, like that. Okay. Good. Alguien más, si no vamos a... Thank hacer... you. Nice. Well done. Vamos a hacer dos actividades. Me gustaría saber si alguien más va a compartir o si nos usamos la otra actividad. No, nobody else. All right. No worries then. So we're going to do the following. Vamos a hacer una siguiente actividad. Gracias a los que compartieron. En serio, aprecio un montón porque me ayudan. A eso me da la pauta que sí se ha comprendido en cuanto al uso del, del future. Future tense. All right. Okay. Tenemos que ver una conversación del uso del de tell and ask. Pero antes de eso, quiero, quiero finalizar con con la este con una con un quiz cortito así que denme un segundito y lo vamos a realizar ahorita todos en el grupo de WhatsApp verdad everybody is in the WhatsApp group okay let's see I'm going to send a link and I want you to um, let's see I want you to uh, join hold on let me um so this is intermediate right intermediate from seven this is the one okay i just sent a link i sent a link right now on whatsapp i did it right there because it's easier for me so if you don't mind if you have the time please access to the link right now and we're gonna play right now in the next five or ten minutes the most okay so access to the link. I'm going to be here waiting for you guys so we can do this together. Uh, it doesn't have many. Just give it a give it a try. I don't know if you... Okay, I have David. I have Rafael. Thank you so much. Jocelyn. Isabel. I have uh, uh, Robert already. Okay, nice. Judy. Thank you so much. Diego. Nice. Sonia, Walter, Ana Rivas, 10 players. I have already 10 team players already. Okay, but aquí estamos 21. Hay unos demás. Van a poder conectarse. The idea, okay, gracias. Tenemos 11. Thank you, Christian. Um, the idea here is that we uh, try to identify si le ponemos will, present continuous, or si le ponemos going to. Thank you, uh, Alfredo. Okay. Yeah, I 15, yes, más razonable, 16, thank you. Let's do it. Hagamos este quick exercise, okay? Here we go. Ready, set, go.
quiero que analicen bien las opciones. No, porque veo que me están apareciendo bastantes scores aquí un poquito bajo. Así que analyze. Tómense ese tiempo. No son muchas preguntas. Es un quiz bien cortito. Ok. Don't, don't hurry up. Don't, you know, don't speed up. Take your time. Let's take five more minutes. Por el tiempo, solo voy a dar unos dos minutos más. Yo creo que ya tenemos algunos que ya terminaron. Dos minutos más. Okay.
In most of them, I did it wrong because I got confused with the three so I see. future tenses. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I, I'm, I'm looking at the results right now and I'm like, okay, we need to review more of this topic. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, at the end, uh, we have a challenge here, which is studying and analyzing. I know when we have to respond, like maybe um, with the pressure of, you know, what, time or any other factors, you know, we tend to feel more challenge, but it's okay. Well, let's see, I'm going to close the quiz, guys. As of now, I'm going to close it, and then we're going to, um, so you can self-evaluate. I know maybe you're not going to have the chance to finish it, but because of time, okay? So I'm closing it right now. And let me tell you that the first place, according to this one, is Judy. Second place is David. And third place is Christian. Let me see if I can show you the results. Give me a second. Let's see, yeah. As a class, we got four. That's our grade. <laughs> and then, yeah, we need to see what's what happened here, right? We need to check on this. Well, let me let me uh, show you the. Yeah, let's see. We we have a lot to to go over. Second. I'm going to, let me see if it, if it allows me to, to, to review it with you guys so you can see it. I'm just loading. I'm going to show it like, like I'll try to go a little bit fast on this, but because I consider it's important to not only to uh, answer it, but also understand the why, right? This is, an, this is an answer. So take a look at the first one. We're going to go a little bit fast. I don't think we talked last time that when we uh, use think because it's the word think, you know, we are expecting to use will because it's based on what you think, it's based on what you don't think. So eight of you marked this correctly. So good job. And then uh, I'm glad nobody said it's changing because we already said that ING form is for arrangements. Take a look at the next one, number number two, hopefully it's going to load because it's a little bit slow, I don't know why. It's uh, since yesterday, my connectivity has been a little bit slow, but I believe it's due to the you know, climate. Uh huh. Let's see. It. Next one. I'm going to have, say, five minutes to go over. Hopefully, when you finish, when you submit the, the answers, automatically it gives you the, the overview, right? All of the questions you should submit it and the ones that were incorrect. So a way to self-evaluate yourself is to go over, review all of the ones you submitted, and then you can, it's not letting me continue with the next one. Just give me the same, hold on, Let's see. Let me review again. So this is already done. How about the next one? Okay. This one. Number number two, our computer broke down yesterday, so we are going to buy a new one soon. The computer is broken down, right? So that is, I don't have anything else to, so that means that I need to get a new computer. So it's more, it has, it has to be a plan. It has to be something that is going to happen, right? Because I don't have my computer, it's not working. So some of you might will, maybe because uh, on the intention or on the prediction, but we said that if it is will, it's more like uh, there's no evidence. And then if the computer 
uh, broke down, then there's there is an evidence, right? So therefore we need to use going to as the best choice. And that's how it works. I think this is a little bit slow. It won't let me go over. Uh, I think I can share or assign this again so you can re retake it. And this time you can maybe analyze your answers a little bit like uh, or taking your time. It doesn't matter if you if you don't respond, you know, in the time given, you can take longer, but as long as you uh, do better. So I can reassign this as a homework because I need to go to the next topic. But once again, it's just a matter of maybe uh, taking your time to analyze each, each situation. So um, it won't let me continue just taking, you know, slowing again, but I'm going to assign this as a practice to you. Give me a second. Hopefully that will not be. I'm going to give you until tomorrow so you can do it. Tomorrow is 13. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to send you right now, guys, on the on this chat one code. If you, if you want, you can copy it right now. That code is for you to go ahead and complete it one more time. When you access to that, I'm going to send it right now so I don't forget. Let's see. So the code is 96822245. So let's see. 96822845. Two, so this is the code, and then you just need to look for um, quizzes, you know, quizzes.com, and then join. And then you access to that code, and then you take longer and you complete it, okay? Maybe tomorrow we can have some time to see how you did it as a second try. As of now, I would like to go over one conversation, and this conversation, I'm pretty sure you already saw it, but I still I want to play it. And before we move on to the, to the final final um topic of this of the section section number five, so it's a conversation that that's that says can I take a message? So that's the one. So let me play guys and please listen listen up and then we're gonna practice all together. Here we go. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So that's the, com that's the conversation. And now I would like to practice it. You know? And the name of the conversation, can I take a message? Can I take a message? And then here in this conversation, we have some you know, verse that we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. But then as of now, I would like you, know, you to help me practicing this conversation. So that's, that's the image is not that, it's not that good quality. Let me see if the other one is better. Yeah, this one is better. So um, I want two volunteers to help me with this conversation. We have uh, you know, somebody calling and then somebody taking a message and also or giving a message, right, in this case. So who wants to help me with the secretary and one with Mr. Mr. Kale? Who wants to do it? Try, please try to speak English, try to uh, practice your, your pronunciation. That's important. So who wants to help? 
Roberto Guzman, thank you so much. I need one more. Come on, just one. Just one. Doesn't matter if it is a, a woman or a man, a boy or a girl. It's okay. The, the purpose is just to, just to practice, okay? So anybody else? Thank you so much, Janira. Janira, thank you. Well done. So let's do it. Janira, then you're going to be the secretary, and Roberto Guzman is going to be Mr. Mr. Kale. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Go ahead, please. Solo una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Los números los puedo decir de uno en uno, o los tengo que decir de tres en tres. Eh, eso es una muy buena pregunta. Fíjese que lo general es decirlo por grupos, así como están ahí. Eh, por ejemplo, sería six, apenas se ve la imagen así, guys, la placa la toma del libro. Six, uh, four, six, five, 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 four, zero, three, one. Eh, de abajo. O puedo decirlo uh, six, four, six, or six, forty, six, uh, five, 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 forty, thirty, one. So you can say that. You can still make that emphasis into blocks, okay? But if you want to say it one by one, it's okay. Si quieres decirlo uno por uno, dígalo, no hay problema. Pero sin embargo, el ideal es por grupo, porque así dan los gringos los números por teléfono, por blogs, por plan. Si te van notando, le van a decir uh, area code 646, nota. Luego le van a decir 555, luego le dicen 4030 o 4031. Okay, but you try as you want this, this time. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's do it. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to make to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Uh, permítame, lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. ¿Puedo volver a iniciar? Yeah, no worries. Let's do it again. Three, two, one, go. Good morning, Parkers Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kyle. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell me here our meetings on Friday. I at 2.13. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Raham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice. I like it. Good. Good practice. Good pronunciation. Okay. Just we need to review this word. If it's one message, message, mess, like you can imagine two words. Mess, like the sword, and then mess. And then the word age, like a message. Message, if it's more than one messages, if it's more than one messages, then the rest went really good. So thank you so much for your participation. Um, let's see, I want to explain something really quick. First of all, I sent a link on the chat and I sent a code, okay? When you click to the link, you will be, you will be prompted to enter one code. The code is the one I sent. Retake the quiz and analyze your answers for tomorrow. We're gonna see how you do it, okay? Because we didn't do that well as a whole class. Now, my second point is this. Uh, so we're gonna study the verb, we are studying the verb tell and also the verb ask, okay? So I want you to pay attention how they are using it. Please tell and could you ask and then how do we use them? So that's my, my big uh, question here. Whenever you use ask, I want this is the, the one that I want you to pay attention to. Ask, right after ask, you wanna say the object and then you say what? Uh, to and then an infinity, right? To do something and then the verb. Let me explain this with an example. 
how do you say, guys, how do you say, uh, let's see, dígale o pídale que me devuelva la llamada in English? How do you say that? Dígale que me, que me devuelva la llamada o dígale que, que yo ya compré la comida. How do you say that? Pídale. Ajá, o pídale, ajá, en el caso, pídale ask, como. Ok, ask him to call, to call me back again. Ajá, nice, ask him, ask him, ask. Or you can, if you, another way, you using the verb to tell, you can say, tell him, he, tell him, tell him, call me back. Mm -hmm. Tell him, tell call him back. that I want, that I want him to call me back. Tell him that. You can say that I that I wanted him to come. Yes, you can say that, but it's like a little bit long. Tell him to okay. tell him uh tell him uh that I want him. So it's too too long. So maybe tell him to call me back. Maybe. So we shorter the, the 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 sentence. Yeah, but the purpose is and thank you so much, Robert, for for mentioning. We use the object here and then we connect it with the next idea. Ask him and then to do something right. For example, ask him to call me back. Ask him to do this for me. So instead of him, it can be her, it can be you, it can be them, right? So right in between, we need to use one object, you know, who receives the action, okay? That's why uh, we need to, this is what we need to understand. So ask him to do this for me. Ask her to do that for me. So that's how it is, how it is uh, structured when it comes to, to use the verb ask in this case. So what about if we um, create at least one sentence, we have five minutes where we're using ask and then the structure ask, object, and then the verb in, in, in the two plus the verb. So who wants to try? Maybe, um, Following this, the same uh, structure here, the one given on the on the conversation, or maybe you can create your own one. Not necessarily call, not necessarily uh, like the one we have on the conversation. You can create something different, but following the same structure. What ideas come to your mind? Instead of that, we can use the verb to ask. Okay. So, well, how do you say, use ask and then give me an example? How do you say pídale que o pídale que me compre las tortillas? No, mm -hmm. something like that. Ask her, ask her that he can mm -hmm. ask her that he can buy that he can buy me the tortillas. Voy a voy a decir lo siguiente, Roberto, y la verdad que lo que está haciendo está bien. Se puede usar that. Pero lo importante de, de la conversación esta es que entendamos que hay dos maneras de hacerlo. Una con that y la otra sin that. Y la más común es la sin that. O sea que tendría que decir, ask her to buy the tortillas. De un solo. De un solo. Para que no usemos ask her that. Ese that is, is ok. Because we can do it. Eso lo vamos a ver mañana en el video. Aparece también. Si tienen chance lo pueden ver. Pero no es necesario decir that. That is optional. Y yo siempre... Puede decir, si es optional, ¿para qué lo vamos a complicar? Let's not make yeah. it longer, because that's longer. So you say, ask her to buy tortillas for me. That's it. Uh, decirle que me compre una, una, una tiza, porque tengo, tengo hambre. O, o pídele que me compre una tiza. How do you say that? Teacher. Uh -huh. In Spanish. In Spanish. Eh, pídale, pregúntele, dígale. ¿Hm? Ahí se utiliza ask. ask. Fíjense que el, el, el pídale o pregúntale es ask. El otro dígale es más es tell. Por eso es tell. Mm. La estructura que siguen son, son un poquito diferentes porque tell es, no usa la misma estructura que, que ask, pero es la misma función. Va en la misma función de como dar un mensaje, mensaje a alguien. Ese es el, ese es el, el propósito final. Ok. Este, yo les, les pido que vayan, es lo mismo, I ask you to, y luego va la acción, mire, I ask you to watch the video, I ask you to watch the video, es la misma estructura, usamos ask, 
el verbo as, así, as, luego de as ponemos el objeto que recibe la acción y luego to y el verbo y la acción que va a realizar. Por ejemplo, eh, uh, ask Yanira, aquí puede ser Yanira, ask en el espacio aquí, ask Yanira to help you with the homework, de un solo. Ask Yanira to help you with the homework, como pídele a Yanira que te ayude con la tarea, ese pídele que, que ese que, por eso que Roberto decía that, porque también se puede usar that, but it's not, it's not, for me, it's optional, so then don't use it. Ask Yanira to to help you with the homework, de un solo. Es lo importante aquí que entendamos, espero que se entienda, es el hecho de que conecto la idea de un solo. Digo, la acción, a quien la recibe es el objeto, puede ser una persona o puede ser el object, que son him, you, her, them, us. Este, y luego la acción que es la que lo conecta. Sí, ese, ese, ese sí, sí funciona. Pídeles a ellos que te permitan ir a la fiesta, tu papá. How do you say that? Pídele a tus padres o solicítele a tus padres que te dejen ir a la fiesta. How would you say that? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda? ¿Quién me ayuda? Pídele a tus padres que te permitan. Eh, solo es la oración statement. No estoy ni siquiera haciendo una pregunta ahorita. Solo es el statement. Mañana entenderemos esa parte de statement y, 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 y question. Pídele a tus padres que te permitan ir a la fiesta. How do you say that? ¿Quién se anima? ¿Alguien se anima? Vaya, ahí lo voy a mandar. Si alguien lo pensó así, fue excelente. Ya no tengo más. Ask your parents to let you go to the party. <laughs> Exactamente. Muy bien, ahí la acabo de mandar. Ask your parents to let you go to the party. Muy bien, podría ser así. Mire, ask them, porque your parents es them. Ask them to let blah, 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 blah. So this is the, this, this is the structure. Okay, ask them to let, and luego decimos la acción. Bueno, este, mañana retomaremos esta parte. Si hacen, si tienen el, el tiempo, vuelvan a hacer el quiz, por favor, con más tranquilidad. Y mañana veamos cómo le fue, porque como clase obtuvimos 40 y siento que pudimos haber dado un poquito más. Quizás también porque lo cerré antes. Bueno, see you tomorrow, guys. Mañana es la última clase. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Blessing. Blessing. Conectos y no van a estar, no van a dejar de conectarse por el último día. Siempre por la asistencia y todo eso es necesario que se conecten. See you tomorrow then, guys. Thank you so much okay. once again. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.